Hey everybody, uh, I'm working on the STI today. I thought it would be a good opportunity to get the camera out and show you what I'm doing. So what I'm doing is I'm taking the PCV system, oh sorry, I'm taking the intercooler off to inspect the PCV system. Um, it's a little more oily around everything than I'd like. I sprayed a bunch of stuff down there to clean that off for the inspection. So that's why it's like that down there. It's pretty clean though. Like. Everywhere is very clean except for this back corner. You're probably not going to see it, but it's kind of caked in old oil. And this PCV hose, if you could see down there, in Japan at some point, they had this turned around and plugged into the hard line, which was crimping this hose. So there was absolutely no pressure um, going through that hose whatsoever. So, I am taking the intercooler off. It's almost off, really. Just have to loosen the hose. I'm going to clean everything up. One thing that kind of startled me is that right there. Um, the other line does not have it. Um, I know that's normal. Um, I pushed it in, so it, it did have a blow through. But I'm going to clean all this up. But I, I rushed to the forums just to see, you know, if it's common on these cars. And it is absolutely common for uh, Subarus to have that. Especially if, you know, I have a suspected um, leak somewhere. So I'm going to inspect the hoses as much as I can and see if there's a... Uh, um, air or moisture getting in because that's just moisture and oil building up together and not condensing properly so uh let's get to it all right guys so after fighting with this thing that's the only thing i don't like about ej207s is that um it is a pain in the ass to work on um i i get that everything's here it's all good to go but everything has to fit underneath the intake manifold so i have wiring harness going under the intake manifold hoses that i can't get around that's that's the main issue here so after fighting with it i kind of figured out what was going on for the most part so i got a lot of condensation in here like a lot and I looked online and it is normal, um, especially the PCV system, because it gets old, it gets cracky, and you get a lot of water in here. So at first it was kind of startling because I didn't see that much before in any other car I've owned. So when I took this hose off, remember I was telling you that they, they crimped this hose? And nothing was going through this, so it was pressurizing. But there is also pinhole cracks and holes when I pressurize this hole or hose. So when I took this off, you could see the water droplets. This was the this is the hose that's causing all that crap. All the condensation in my PCV system is coming from this guy. You can see. The other two hoses, um, well, this one's clean, but this one looks like it has a little condensation going in it too. And that's probably because these two are directly connected through that pipe. But either way, I'm going to fix all this with the catch can eventually. And I have silicone hoses coming, but I wanted to fix this specific hose because it was pressurizing because there's no, it couldn't get through. And... Like, there's pure water droplets in there. So, it, my PCV currently isn't sealed properly. So, I wanted to replace that hose. So, I had to take all of this off battery and the um, windshield washer fluid. So, there's my new hose. Um, it is sealing way better. Um, that hose was so hard, it wasn't even sealing on there because it doesn't have the proper clamp. So, this guy is just going to go, like, right there. And hopefully... That fixes a lot of my issues. Um, otherwise, the engine is really clean up here. I'm going to clean the throttle body. And eventually replace all these crappy hoses. Good thing I didn't cut that hose because it's the perfect length. 
But yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm dealing with right now. Just wanted to show you guys. So I'm gonna clean everything up, get it back together, and uh, show you the finished product. All right, guys. So I'm almost done. Um, I'm just in the process of just gonna clean everything up because once everything's off, you might as well clean what you can. I did replace the main um, coupler with a full silicone coupler. Um, everything's going on nice. Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna label this video cleaning the STI's PCV system because this is finally clean-ish. Looks like I still gotta put a chaser brush down there, but see like, all because of the holes in the rock hard lines and the leaks in the PCV system, it looks like this one's the only one that's really getting it good. This pipe here. And this is the one that shares it with the one that was um, pinholey. But the, who knows, that one could be all gross too because this one is rock hard too. So obviously you should be you should be doing this um, as a regular maintenance item. Um, so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to get that other stuff out of there because I want this clean as possible. Um, with that being said, though, I did check the diff. I checked all the fluids. All the fluids look brand new. So whoever had this car kept really good care of it. <laughs> besides the PCV side, um, so that is really good to see because, like I said, the front diff is brand new. Those two fluids are new. Uh, what else did I do? I replaced this hose up here to a new one because it was getting crinkled. So I'm going to have to make this kind of, it's going to be like right there. And it doesn't look like it's kinking anywhere. So that's good. That's going to fix a lot of problems, I think. That was a pretty big issue. And yeah, everything is good to go. So I think I'm just gonna end the video here. Um, make sure if you buy one of these, go through the PCV system, make sure that it's all good because it is getting moisture in there. Like this is rock hard. Like if you can see the indents, they're perma indented. <laughs> so, and it's attached to the intake. So I'm gonna be very careful taking that off because it's plastic. I might have to get one of these on order too, just in case. But that's the joys of having plastic rubber hoses and you know, 15 years later, this is what happens. So, as always, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Clean your PCV systems if you buy an STI, and you should be good. But I'm gonna conclude the video here, so as always, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, give it a thumbs up, like, and subscribe. All right, peace.